now in the presence of a Hey guys, this is the Elfis Full HD Projector. This is the model number here, the W1K 1080p Full HD. Uh, it can support, now it says 4K, but it could support 4K video. So if you got 4K video pumped into the system, it can handle it and work with it and deliver a 1080p image. Some of the great things on here is autofocus. You don't have to manually focus the lens on here. These are some of the projected distances. Uh, screen size 45 to 300 inches. It's advertising Netflix and Prime Video. And at the bottom here, it talks about Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and Adobe Audio. So let's get inside of this box. All right, so this is the nice box it comes with. Of course, this is a travel case that you get to have. But let's go ahead and unzip. Whoa, we want to first see what's in here. We have some cleaning tools inside here a little micro uh cloth and some stuff to clean the lens and probably like when the projector gets dirty on the side from taking in some of the dust you have a quick start and you have a full manual again the model number right there velcroed inside is the case we have a remote with netflix youtube and prime video once you get it all set up, you can just hit those buttons and it'll go right to those different applications. Cord wise, we have a power cable, HDMI, full HDMI in and out, and let's get to the big stuff. All right, let's look at the unit here. Our front, we have a lens cap up front. Put that back on. Nice black finish, power button. And then let's check out Two USB-A ports, HDMI 1 and 2, an audio 3.5 millimeter jack, and your power vents on the side, some speakers on the side. And this is a dust cover that you can remove and clean out your unit. And here is a height adjuster. So you can prop this guy up if you want to prop it up on a desk or something. You ready for this setup? Let's go. King. All right, I want to show you some of the menu system here, how you can kind of get it set up. As you can tell, it is off kilter, so I just set up on my couch. And I need to kind of put it and adjust it so it'll be fit. This is where you can put in your Wi-Fi, but let's go ahead and get the, the picture set up correctly before we go over this, because it's off. I'm going to manually keystone the corrections. You have like four points, as you can see the arrow here, 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 here. So I, I, evidently I want to get it over to the right and up. So I'm going to go to this side, I'm going to push it to the right. It's about good to me. Yeah, of course you have autofocus. So when the system powers on, it will automatically focus as soon as it powers on. So this is different ways you can set up your projector. Just normal in the front, you can flip it upside down, put it on the ceiling, rear ceiling. So it's just different ways to set it up so the picture comes out correctly. Let's try to look at the different apps that are available. So these are different apps that we can download that are out on the market. 
So there is an app store here. You can venture out and find other applications to download to your Plex games, music apps, news apps. So this will give you a whole plethora of different apps you can look for and set up on your main system. So if you have a hard drive, um, you have a bunch of movies on or photos or music, you can go here and set this up. Um, screencasting. So if you want to cast from your phone, this is where you would go. Uh, Magic Cast is built for Apple. So if you have an iPhone, you can set it up here and you can screen mirror your phone to the projector. One of the things I did set up, which was a lot easier than I thought it would be, was Bluetooth. So I have a speaker, you can see it with the little red dot down below. Uh, it's a small Bluetooth uh, speaker I received. And I didn't, it was so easy. So I went in here basically, turned on the speaker, uh, pushed the Bluetooth button on the speaker, and that's it to the right, the DY Play speaker. Hit it worked set up really quickly um, and it was easy to pair up now you don't have to use a bluetooth speaker there is a 3.5 millimeter uh, aux jack on the back of this thing you can plug directly into so you have a bigger stereo system that has maybe have a receiver that kind of thing you can use that to set up your uh, would be a cable to your projector you can also just use this as an open browser so if you want to search the web here you have the ability to just go ahead and search Google or whatever you are want to go look for out there to put on your screen. So I just want to talk about the picture real quick and um, how the quality of the picture of this projector is. Now, anytime you go from a TV to a projector, it, normally you're not going to get the same type of image from a projector that you do a regular standard TV. Uh, but also, if you paid for a screen this size, it would be astronomical. Uh, for the price so for the price of this projector uh, to have set up for a movie night that kind of thing in your basement or where have you uh, for the price man it is it is really good uh, and you can really uh, the best the way to do is have a really dark area to set this in the darker the better and the image will come out now you can play with the image on here pop-up menu here so you can play with the image you can put it on standard vivid sport cinema and then you can adjust it yourself you can sit around and play with it for a while by adjusting the uh, the settings here how bright contrast saturation you would like to have it i did play call of duty with it so i can try that now here in a second to show you what that looks like so let's go ahead and set that up and come back and watch a little call of duty All right, we do a little Call of Duty, so show what it looks like. But yeah, I mean, for the price you pay for this projector and what it can do, I'm impressed. I was not expecting to be impressed, but I was really, I'm impressed with this thing. And then you can go to the best channel that's out there, Scott's Reviews, and you can watch fantastic reviews. Welcome back to the channel, Scott Scott's Reviews. Today we're talking about probably the most anticipated, waited upon small camera, uh, well, not the most, but the one of the ones that they talked about a lot, DJI Pocket 3. Got I'm filming on that right now. Cross our fingers.